Hello, let's look at some applications of profit and loss, the way they appear in the exams. Some really tricky, some from different way altogether. Let's take an example. If apples are bought at 30 for a rupee, how many apples should be sold for 1 rupee in order to gain 20% profit? Now 30 for a rupee, how do we do it? Let's take it on a unitary method. At what price is one apple sold? So one apple is sold for what? 1 upon 30. What is the profit that we expect? It is 20%. So we say 1 upon 30 into 6 upon 5. So that becomes what? 1 upon 25. Now one apple is sold for 1 upon 25. So for 1 rupee how many apples will be sold? 25. So simple was the answer. Let's take some more tougher ones. In the first case, let's take the cost price of two items is same, but in the two items, in one case, there is a profit of 20% and the other case, there is a loss of 20%. Now, in the case of profit of 20%, 1 upon 5, so it becomes 6 upon 5. So, SP is nothing but 6 upon 5 times the CP. In the loss making item, now 1 upon 5, but here it is 1 minus 1 upon 5, so it becomes 4 upon 5. So, SP is equal to 4 upon 5 times the CP. Now let's look at the other way around. Let's take the selling price to be same and there is a profit of 20% on one item and a loss of 20% on one item. How does it figure out? Now in the profitable item, like in the other, earlier case, selling price was 6 upon 5 times the CP. So the cost price is 5 upon 6 times the CP. Remember here, the selling price is given, not the cost price. So there is a cost price which is 5 upon 6 times the selling price. What about the loss making item? The selling price is 4 upon 5 times the CP. So the CP is nothing but 5 upon 4 times the SP. So the SP here remains same, the CP changes. In the earlier case, the CP remained same, the SP changes. Let's take an example. You know, there are a lot of offers which go around today. In bigger shopping malls, there is something called a buy 3, get 1 free. Or buy 1, get 30% off. Which is a better deal? Let's take it one by one. 30% off, it's a flat 30% off. But what upon buy 3, get 1 free? So when we buy 3, how much do we pay for? Let's take it, buy 3, get 1 free. So out of the 3, we get 1 free. So we actually end up paying for 2. So how much is the discount? 3 minus 2 upon 3. So that is 1 upon 3. So 1 is free when we buy 3. So the discount is 33.33%. Let's take another case where it's a playing of words. They say, buy three, take one free. Now in this case, what is the thing? You buy three and you take one more free. So actually you end up taking home four items and you pay for three items. So one is free on a base of four items. So which is nothing but one upon four, which is 25%. So in the first case, the 30% discount was lesser than buy three, get one. But in the second case, 30% discount is more than buy 3, take 1 free. Let's take another example. Cost of 20 articles is equal to the selling price of 16 articles. Cost price of 20 and selling price of 16. Find the percentage profit. Let's assume the cost price of one article to be CP and selling price of one article to be SP. So total cost price of 20 articles is nothing but 20 multiplied by CP and total selling price of 16 articles is 16 multiplied by SP. Both of them are equal. So 20 CP is equal to 16 SP. If we find out the ratio of SP upon CP, it is nothing but 20 upon 16, which is nothing but 5 upon 4. Now 5 upon 4, SP upon CP, so the percentage profit is what? 1 plus 1 by 4, which is nothing but 25%. So look tough, simple question. Let's take another example. A milkman makes 20% profit on milk, but if he adds 10% water in the same milk, what will be the profit percentage? 20% profit was there. So let's put that into the equation first. SP is equal to 6 upon 5 CP. Now let's add water. What is the price of water? Now for these kind of purposes, we can assume it to be zero. So let's see, 10 liters of milk, 1 litre of water gets added which is free, so it makes 11 litres of milk. So in the new milk, how much is the old milk? So in new 1 litre of milk, it is 10 by 11 of the original milk. Let's solve it now. 
Now, 10 by 11 into selling price is equal to 6 by 5 into cost price. Selling price now becomes 6 by 5 into 11 by 10 CP, which is 32 percent profit. So, we can see how the profit increased after adulteration and the profit increased by 12 percent, whereas the adulteration was only 10 percent. So, there is a cumulative increase also here. Let us take another example. A shopkeeper sells a product at successive discounts of 20 percent, 12.5 percent and 10 percent, but at the end he still makes a profit of 25 percent. What is the ratio of the marked price and the cost price? Marked price, okay. Let us start putting each one of them. So, 20 percent discount is nothing but 1 minus 1 upon 5, which is 4 by 5. 12.5 percent discount is nothing but 1 minus 1 upon 8, which is 7 by 8. 10 percent discount is 1 minus 1 by 10, which is 9 by 10. So, marked price when multiplied by each of these fractions 4 by 5, 7 by 8, 9 by 10 will give us the selling price, which is 25 percent more than the cost price, so which is equal to 5 by 4 cost price. Solving what we get is CP upon mark price, we have removed the selling price here, there is no point in keeping it. So, CP upon mark price, we get the ratio of 63 upon 125. So, we see that the ratio is much much higher just because there is successive discount as well as a profit even after that. So, this is how profit and loss can be easily solved by using percentage terms as well as understanding the basic formula of selling price equal to cost price plus profit.